ancient print on that porch. Lindsay. We walk around the back and point Lindsay. of entry. Lindsay. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, that's weird. Shoot. I found shoe prints. Ah, man. I must have missed a few episodes. Let me go back. Was I on episode two? Lindsay! Ah! Oh my god! Where have you been? Me? What do you mean me? We've been waiting on you. You've been gone for like weeks. What have you been doing? I think it's pretty obvious where I've been. Right here. This whole time. Look, I know it's been hard. I get it. But we need to get up. We need to get ready. Why don't you just like dipped out one day? Did you really think that I could like do this whole thing without you? Okay, well that's just not fair because I'm literally you. But it doesn't matter. We need to go get ready. Like let's go do things. You can't just sit on the couch forever. Valentine's Day is coming. Oh come on, we gotta do this right now. It just started getting good. You were literally just sleeping and you've been wondering where I am. I'm here now, so let's go. <sighs> Fine. Finally, hurry up. They're waiting. Let's go. Oh my god. What are you wearing? What? It's comfortable. Oh my god. What would you do without me? Can we just move on? We've already kind of established that I'd be doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go get changed. I can't even believe it. Oh my gosh, you don't have to pull my arm out of the socket. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to do something that I'm really excited about because I've been having a little bit of a struggle bus here with figuring out what I want to create on uh, my YouTube channel. But here's what I have been enjoying and that is creating makeup. <laughs> Obviously, that's what I do. Just different makeup looks and taking pictures to post them on Instagram since that's um all we can do right now. <laughs> no, just get some cute photos and uh, also giving you guys a look that maybe you would want to recreate for your Valentine's Day. I know it's super hard right now to be like excited about things like Valentine's Day when we can't really do a whole lot because of the pandemic, but one thing we can do is uh, get really cute at home <laughs> and take pictures and at least it's not wasted totally, you know. I highly encourage you, if you're feeling a little bit down about Valentine's Day, get ready anyways and have a little date night inside your house, you know. I find that when I do my makeup and I get dressed and stuff, I still feel just as good inside my house as if I was to like leave my house, like putting all of it on and just getting out of the bun and the hair and the sweatpants and stuff, it really just kind of boosts your mood up a little bit and gives you a little bit of hope that in the future we'll be able to actually like leave our houses. <laughs> I have a look in mind and I want to explain it to you guys really quick because I don't want you guys to think that you need this palette to be able to create a similar look. You just need shades that are sort of similar. They don't even have to be exact, which is also positive because if you don't really want the shades that I do, you can totally just change it, but get the same kind of like style, you know? So I'm using the ColourPop Strawberry Shake palette and it is a very pink palettes because you know valentine's day but i am only going to be using i want to cover them up so you guys can see i'm just oops sorry i'm just going to be using these three shades very simple very easy but very romantic and still pink but not too pink use what you have you don't have to have these exact products i never want to make you guys feel like you have to go out and like buy a specific thing to create a look because you don't i promise <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and start on the eyes i'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer it really doesn't matter what it is just whatever you have or if you have an eyeshadow primer that you like and then i'm just gonna blend this out yes my sponge is dirty this is the life i live right now of course i'm not prepared i need a brush Okay, to start out the look here, guys, I'm going to go in with this lighter pink shade. Just any transition shade that you want to use. If you have something that's a little pinker in tone, it's going to be similar to my color. It's going to make it similar to uh, my look, but just use what you have. I mean, even if you didn't want a pink look, because I feel like a lot of people do pink for Valentine's look, but... Is that what everybody really wants to wear? Does everybody really want to wear pink on Valentine's Day? I feel like there's probably some people who don't. You can just use the shades that you want to use. And then if you just want to follow like the technique that I'm doing, you'll kind of get the similar shape, you know? But this is going to be pretty easy. I'm just taking this super fluffy brush 
and I'm putting it in my transition area and I love to focus shadows on the outer part of my eye here and I'm kind of just like flicking it out a tiny bit you see how it's kind of like making it longer here just like really blending it in because I kind of want it to be softer focused in a way I'm gonna try at least I definitely have a tendency to amp things up not on purpose just because I just it just happens I'm a very big fan of bringing shadow up to almost my brow line so I do bring it up quite far I really like that look I just feel like I have slightly hooded, hooded eyes, so when I have my eyes open, you can still see all the shadow. If you do struggle with like figuring out shadow with hooded eyes, bring it up higher. That way when you open your eyes, you can still see everything. The amount of blackheads in my nose is atrocious. Okay, the next shade I'm going into is, is this one right here. I should probably like hold it up right so you guys can like see what I'm doing. Okay, is this shade right here in this bottom corner. So this has a little bit of a red tint to it. It's like a reddish, it's very rosy. Yeah, 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 rosy. It's just a very good deepening color that's not super deep. So it's gonna give definition without it being like black. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna keep it to my outer corner here. And I'm just gonna start, I have a smaller fluffy brush now. I'm just gonna start down here really close to my lashes. Keep it like I'm kind of going in a line kind of where I brought that shadow out and just lightly kind of pull it out that way. Again, it's gonna kind of just like elongate your eye and then I'm gonna just keep blending in this outer corner here a little bit up into my crease area but I don't really want to bring it necessarily over here just kind of want to keep it maybe a little bit maybe just like halfway <laughs> and then I'm just gonna keep it mostly on the outside here so you see how like it's starting to get a little bit of definition a very soft but very pretty and you can keep going in if you feel like you want it to be deeper could even take a deeper shadow and kind of do the same thing if you feel like oh you want it to be a little bit even more dramatic but again i kind of want to keep this like a little bit more soft focused so i'm just going to take this shade right here and this is the soft glam palette by anastasia beverly hills this is just in my project pan that's the only reason why i'm using it and i'm going to take this deep brown shade you could use black but i really wanted to keep it more warmer so i'm going to use a deep brown shade tap off the extra and I'm using this flat brush. Anything that's smaller that has like a flat kind of shape to it will work. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna push it against my lash line. And I'm just kind of going back and forth and like smudging it in a way. And I personally like to wear false lashes, so this is gonna help prepare that, but also give a little bit of a more smokier kind of look to the lash line without being like over dramatic you know lightly do a line here like this kind of like for that like wing shape you know and i'm gonna go back to my smaller fluffier brush and i'm just gonna i'm not gonna add anything i'm just gonna kind of blend on top of that so like i said i want it to be really soft and you see how it like just kind of defines the eye a little bit more you know I don't know. I'm gonna use a little bit more of this shade here. Add a little bit more of that color. Here we go. Yes, that's what I want. That's what I want. Okay, now one more time, we're gonna go back to that very first light pink shade. What? Ooh. Oh no! I just got shadow all over my dress. Anyways, back to the light pink shade here. And on the big fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna kind of really quickly run over that transition area not anything like super like precise at all i just kind of want to do one last blend here so here's what we're looking like and it's time to add the shimmer the life of the party you could totally even just like leave it like this and i think this looks super pretty but i like the extraness so we're gonna add some shimmer on here there's two shades in here that are like calling my name i'm probably definitely gonna stick with this lighter pink shade but this shade here ooh, whipped looks so pretty i just don't want it to i don't want the look to be like pink you know and that is definitely gonna turn it like super pink but it would be really pretty we're gonna go with the lighter shade love using my finger for this part it just does the absolute best and i just start stamping it on my eyelid Woo this thing is so pigmented just gonna dab it here and i like i said i do like to bring it up past my crease area so when i open my eye you see how it's like 
you can still see it. I love that. So I always bring it up kind of high. Take our brush again here and blend some of the edge here. Actually, what? <laughs> a little bit more of this one. Sometimes I feel like when I put the shimmer on, I kind of lose those shades, so. And here we go. So I think it looks really pretty, really soft, natural. But me being me, this, this shadow is still calling me, so. Whipped a little bit of that pink shade on the right here. Just want a little bit on the center part. Again, we're always going back to these like other brushes to kind of blend everything out. Blend a little bit of that lighter color in a little bit more here. I use my fingers to kind of blend the shimmers together and this kind of like back and forth kind of motion. I don't normally do this right now, but for some reason I really want to put a little bit of mascara on. Usually I do this at the end. <laughs> I think I just want to get a feel for like what things are looking like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, with lashes, this is gonna look really pretty. Okay, ooh, I'm excited. Honestly, it looks pretty even without lashes. Okay, we're gonna do some primer here. I'm gonna use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is really good for like long-lasting makeup because it has like a, more of a tacky base. So I'm gonna prime my whole face with this, and then we're gonna do a little hack for my nose area because especially if we're wearing a mask, if you are going out, it's gonna help tr keep it on a little bit better because that part is so annoying with wearing a mask. It comes off so much on my nose. We're gonna do a little hack to help try to keep it on a little bit better. All right, I just wanted to zoom you guys out a little bit here. Eyeshadow primer, hopefully you have some, <laughs> is a great little hack to help keep your makeup on your nose down better. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. This is actually a little mini size from Fenty. It's their Pro Filter eye, eye Primer. And I'm gonna take some of this and <laughs> I'm gonna put it on my nose. You know, I think I'm actually gonna put a little bit here as well, kind of like where your mask kind of hits pretty hard. Hopefully that will help reinforce it a little bit. I've never tried it on my face here, but on the nose, it. I mean, it's not like 100%, but it definitely helps a lot. It's like, when I look at my mask, I can see that some rubbed off, but it doesn't look like super patchy like how it normally does if I don't do this at all. So I tend to skip foundation as of late because of the mask situation, but I do like this foundation for if I'm wearing a mask. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. It gives a fresh looking face, but it also like dries down really well. It's super long wearing and it's really light. It's not super heavy. So I really like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. I really, really, this is one of my favorite all-time foundations. And because I'm lazy, I'm not gonna wet my sponge because I don't feel like it. Oh, it just like has the most beautiful finish. Like, look at that. Oh, so pretty. I'm the shade 400. <laughs> They're lightest shade. <laughs> I am typically the lightest shade that people create. All right, I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Concealer. It's definitely not full coverage. So if you like a more full coverage concealer, that one on the ground. Great, love that. But it's very brightening. And I love a good bright under eye. So that's what I'm gonna use. Also, I don't really like necessarily love full coverage. So this is kind of perfect for me. The next part is crucial if you're going out and wearing a mask, powder. Now I don't love powder. If you guys have seen my videos, you know that I'm not a big powder person, but these days, this is the life we're living. Powder is important. Um, masks do not like cream, or rather they like it so much that they eat it. So I definitely powder my under eyes and I do lightly powder my face. I don't really feel like I need to powder it too much with this particular foundation because it dries down pretty well, but I am gonna powder it just because, you know, masks. I like to like kind of feel my face and see if there's any place that kind of feels a little bit wetter. And then I like kind of focus some more powder there, especially in the mask region. That way we can Make sure it lasts longer. Let's go ahead and do some bronzer. You know, make this really flat face have some color. Bronzer is my best friend. I'm gonna use the Ilia bronzer. This is the Drawn In Nightlight Bronzing Powder. And it looks like that. It is incredible. I love this bronzer lately. It's so good. You see the difference that bronzer makes in a face? Like, wow. It's always amazing to me. 
The blush that I'm going to use is this one. It's a little bit peachy, apricot-y, and the color is Apricot Girl. This is by Odin's Eye. It's very cute packaging and a very, very good blush. I love this blush a lot. Very pigmented. I'm just going to use this on my cheeks. And I love to take my blush lately very close and some on my nose. Very um, on my apples and my cheeks. Like, see that? See that big old cheek? I have to blush it up real good. <laughs> Embrace the chubby cheeks. And then I typically end up at this part of my makeup where I go, whoa, that's a lot of blush. And I take my sponge that usually disappears every day. Where did it go? This is pretty regular. Where'd you go? Hello? Oh, it's all on the ground. Okay. And then I um, I'll pat over it with my, my uh, sponge because I uh, have a heavy hand. Ooh, but I'm liking how that's looking. Whoa, my eyes are so bright. Okay, I'm gonna be a little extra here. And I'm gonna be using two different highlighters. Once you get to this part in makeup tutorials, you kind of just use like whatever you like or whatever you have. It's like you totally don't have to be extra like me. <laughs> I just can't help myself. The highlighter I'm gonna use is by Ofra. It is Glazed Donut. It is a white highlighter and I really have been enjoying this, but it is <laughs> intense like very intense but for like instagram photos oh beach this stuff this stuff shows up so well in photos so i've been really liking using this as my highlighter it's so pretty i'm gonna put it on my nose i'm gonna put it on my upper lip now i'm gonna put more on my nose oh oh oh, oh. regret it immediately and then I like to put some on my forehead. I don't know why I like to do this, but I think it's just so pretty to have it right here. And then I also have this Kaleidos highlighter. This is the shade Diamond Dasher. Look at this. This is so freaking cool. I love these highlighters. I have a bunch of different shades, but I think this one is going to look really, really good on the inner corner. I might put some on my cheeks. I don't know. I'm kind of scared to because these are really glittery and intense. But let's just try it anyways. It kind of has a little bit of a pink shift to it. Oh my god, this is so much highlighter. But I'm telling you, like, if you're taking pictures, <gasps> highlighting like this, oh my god, it looks so cool. I'm gonna take this tiny little brush and I'm gonna take that Kaleidos highlighter and we're gonna put it on my inner corners here. Also, shout out to Stowed by Mickey. She sent this, she actually sent this to me and I have been loving it ever since and I have also ordered a bunch of makeup from Kaleidos since then as well because their makeup is so cool i never used to be so into highlighter but lately i just cannot get enough like that inner corner moment oh i live for it i may even i think i'm gonna take this up into my eye here too just to kind of add more to that shade we put because i can't help myself oh we are coming together come together I don't know the words. This has turned into a try to get ready with me. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna go to, into that light pink shade again. That's this a small blend br blending brush. Wow, words are hard. I'm gonna use it underneath my eye here. I mean, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy and just kind of go back and forth. Nothing too precise or anything. And then into the deeper shade that we used on the top as well. And just put it on a little like outer corner here. Pretty, 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 I really gotta like move things along here. I gotta move things along. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I'm gonna use some e.l.f. products. I have the Perci Ultra Precise Brow Pencil and the Wow Brow Gel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick because... I talk a lot and this part's boring, so let's skip it. Okay, brows are done. I threw a little bit more mascara on. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up the look as for, like we're gonna put a lip color on. I'm also gonna put some black liner on. Then I'll show you guys what it looks like like without lashes. Cause I know a lot of people don't like to wear lashes, so I'll show you guys that. And then I'll put lashes on so you guys can see what it looks like with lashes as well. But let me go ahead and align my eyes. This is just a black pencil liner. This one is from Sephora. It's a waterproof 
black liner. Also, the mascara that I used is by Elia as well. This is the Limitless Lash Mascara After Midnight. This mascara is incredible for volume and lengthening and separating the lashes. And it's pretty buildable, but there's a big butt. Like, oh my God, look at that. If you cry or laugh really hard and you have tears and this gets in your eyes, it burns so bad. Are you willing to risk it? <laughs> and for me, the answer is sometimes. <laughs> this mascara is freaking bomb, you guys. I love this. I just be careful about when I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> I feel like the obvious choice if you're wearing a mask is a liquid lipstick, but you could also use just a lip liner. One that's like really long lasting and the one that I'm gonna use is from Pat McGrath. It is in the shade buff just like a nude pinkish color and i'm gonna put this like on my entire lips and this is gonna be my lip color i've been really enjoying a really shiny like glossy lip but again i don't like to wear that like with a mask so i'm going to use this these lip pencils are pricey but incredibly creamy and very long lasting you definitely do not have to use a lip pencil you can use whatever lip color you want i have decided to put this on top this fits the look better because <laughs> it has a little bit more of that rosy pink. This is also from Pat McGrath. This is the shade Amour, 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 Amour. Wow, I am the worst. Those lipsticks are so over the top. You definitely don't need it. Lipstick, you do not need to buy an expensive lipstick. I am an addict. That looks really good with this though. Okay, I am gonna do my hair, but this is the look without any lashes or anything. Very soft, very pretty. Let me go do something with my hair and I'm gonna throw some lashes on or come back and I'm gonna show you the look with lashes and that will be this video. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. I know this tutorial is super long, but one of my favorite things to do these days is literally just sit down and do my makeup for hours, like two hours, just take my good old time. And we got time this year, you know, if we, <laughs> if you're not going out, you could just sit and just do your makeup. These lashes are actually from Shop Missy. They're like $1.55, they're super inexpensive. Shop Missy is my boo. Everything is linked in the description box below if you want to check out anything that I used, including these lashes. I feel so much better than I did at the beginning. I feel like I'm coming alive. <laughs> and I can't wait to take some Instagram photos. If you guys want to see how they come out, go follow me over on Lindsay's Lovely Life on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this tutorial, this little get ready with me. I'm excited to be back and making videos. I know I took quite a bit of a break there but I really needed it. <laughs> and so I am back, I'm here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.